see a few interesting things. Right at the back here, we have the optic nerve, which is carrying that electrical signal to the brain. We've got these purple things here, which are the muscles which help you to move your eyes around in all sorts of different directions. And at the front, we have this structure called the cornea. So it's a bulge which sticks out, meaning the eyeball isn't perfectly round, but it gives an added layer of protection. And the white part here is called the sclera. And this is what we're going to be cutting into first. As I cut around the circumference of the eye to separate the front from the back and take a look at what's on the inside. So here we can see two liquids which have come out of the inside of the eye. This runnier liquid is called the aqueous humor. And this jelly-like substance is called the vitreous humor. And these help to keep the round shape of the eye. Now these black things here are the retina cells. These are a layer of light sensitive cells at the back of the eye. The retina detects the image focused by the cornea and the lens, and the retina is then connected to the brain via the optic nerve. But after you have frozen and defrosted the eye, these cells become detached. So you have two different kinds of retina cells. You've got rods, which are light sensitive and allow you to see well in dim light, and you've got cones, which allow you to have color vision. In fact, you've got three different kinds of cone cells. One for red light, one for blue, and one for green. Here we have the front of the eye, and once again, you can see the cornea just here. But if we turn this around, on the inside, we can now see the colored part of the eye, called the iris. So the iris is a muscle which controls how much light enters the eye. So if you're around lots of light, then it will close down making the hole here, called the pupil, very small. But if you're in dark conditions, then it will open back up, meaning more light can enter. And this is the lens. It's what creates the image which falls onto the retina. It also allows you to focus on objects at different distances. So if you're looking at something far away or close up, this will change shape to allow the image to focus in the right way. So the lens focuses the light which falls onto the cells in the retina, sending the message down the optic nerve you can see here. The signal passes through going directly to the brain. So there you have it, a horse eyeball dissection. And if you'd like to take a closer look at one of these, then why not come and join us and get stuck in here in Live Lab. If you'd like to see more insides on the outside,